On the 17th of April 1916, a decision to issue special currency Ostrubles for the Oberost territory, which was occupied by Germany and included Lithuania, was made. The Eastern Loan Bank that was established in the Eastern Trade and Industry Bank in Poznani was assigned to do this. The money issued by it became legal tender. Paper money of seven denominations from 20 kopecks to 100 rubles appeared in circulation. It had inscriptions in as many as four languages, German, Lithuanian, Polish and Latvian. The value of German marks was twice as big as the value of vast rubles. In late summer and early autumn, metal coins of three denominations minted in Germany, Copex, supplemented paper money. The number was no bigger than 50 million units. The coins were made in Berlin and Hamburg. The issue of Ostrubles was not discontinued even later when the Eastern Loan Bank was moved from Poznan to Konas. In 1918, new paper money of eight denominations, Ostmarks, appeared in circulation. The value of the latter money equaled the value of German marks. At the beginning of 1919, by order of the Lithuanian government, Ostmarks began to be called Auxene, and one one hundred of it was called Eiskatekas. Ostrubles and Ostmarks issued by the German occupation government were not covered with real values. This money brought huge losses to the Lithuanian economy.